Dominic Wilcox is a London inventor, designer, author, and artist who is known not only for his wacky inventions, but for inspiring young minds to create their own contraptions. He's an interesting man who can take just about anything and create something with household supplies, like the slinky. I don't know what he would use it for, but I'm sure he would use it. In a way, you can consider him as a modern day. Edison. While Thomas Edison is known as one of the greatest inventors of all time, I definitely say that Dominic Wilcox is one of the greatest inventors of our time. His inventions can be found in a myriad of ways. There's a documentary about him, and his creativity shows how much of an impact as a person he's had so far, including with his organization that inspires kids to be inventors of their own. His self-titled project, Dominic Wilcox, is where we can see the humble beginnings of his creative origins, unlike the Origin nope. game store, which is garbage. Nope. Like, I just want to play Uno. I Like, I shouldn't need Origin for that. That's really stupid. I haven't played Uno in years, and I really want to play Uno. There is currently only 32 videos here, 24 inventions, and 3 concept animations, with the most recent project being in 2019, a stained glass driverless car, and his oldest invention on the channel being in 2008. The 24 inventions are as follows. Xylophone bin, chopstick crane game, a field made of shoestrings, a pop-up train tray, business card tie, reminder laptop flag, armchair swing, bath fountain, football smoothie maker. I showed this one to my friends and they thought it was very weird. <laughs> Chip bag balloon, watch sculpture, Jaffa cake art, Java, Jaffa, I think it's Jaffa, I don't know, one of those, binoculars for your ears, cereal serving crane head device, a hungry tummy amplification device, cereal sogginess timer, a pillow with inbuilt breakfast alarm, snap crackle pop amplification, cereal bowl, robot spoon, oh, this man loves his breakfast, but then again, you'll obviously love breakfast if you get sponsored to make a bunch of breakfast inventions, so it makes sense to me, he's really girl bossing it up over here. <laughs> I love that. The world's first art exhibit for dogs, a party popper made of glass, ice cube tray snow grips, when I first saw this, I thought you took the snow and then made ice cubes out of it. That's not how this invention works. It's one or the other. It's like a two-in-one kind of thing. The Lost and Found Office of Oddities, which was really cool because this involved a bunch of other people and not just him. It was a very interesting project. We specialize in, in trying to think conceptually and uh, in an abstract way outside of the conventional box of the office to try and think what these items might have been used for, uh, what sort of person might have used the items, anything at all that would help us to build up a backstory to be able to, to bring them back to where they should be. And we've come to the market today to try and get there is many different ideas from local people who might have specific local knowledges about the areas and the items. And the stained glass driverless car. He also had a series on here called Speed Creating, which was a 30 day challenge to help inspire him to get, get creative. creative. Green, Green is not, not a creative, creative color. color. I'm actually so stoked for the new Don't Hug Me I'm Scared show. It's going to be so good. Anyways, regarding the speed creating, not all of the episodes are available here. While all these inventions are quite unique in their own right, Dominic will usually link to his website at the end of his videos. There were actually three different links. Mistakesandmanifestos.com, which is a dead link, so I don't know what that one was for. Very Variations on normal.com, which is his blog, and dominicwilcox.com, which is his portfolio. On his portfolio, there are 81 inventions. One animation, one vinyl, one book, one documentary, one man versus machine event, which was actually pretty fun to watch, and his little inventors project. Regarding the 81 inventions, 62 of these were not on his main channel. These inventions are a one a day pill calendar, the bee's knees, literally just Okay, you can tell these were the very early inventions. A keyboard with only escape. Gloves made by molding his own hands. A metal toothbrush carrying case. A side sleeper bed. You know, I would actually probably use that. Nose light. A white elephant floating tent. Bloomberg plastic outline furniture. A perfect bird cage. <laughs> This is one of my favorites that he's made. The head switch, Nimbus cloud lamp, 17 tape recordings of the entire dictionary, not to be confused with the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows, Ivy shelf, footprint shoes. So basically, don't wear the gloves made by molding your own hands and footprint shoes if you're going to commit a crime because the culprit will be extremely obvious. <laughs> A bowl made out of plastic figures, finger nose stylus, a cane wrapped in old thread, Anti-theft car slash bike device, honesty stamp, 
Do not touch chair, onion fabric, sock lights, pencil shelf, door stop extension, thread light, the grapes of wrap. I love this pun so much. 150 brush, bread objects, flip wedges, beach ball chair, mirror room, diary tape, bread of light, all white waiting room, sound bulbs, a bird memorial, shadow art, reverse ears, bugle alarm clock, crystal beard, spiked tap, spiked teapot, spiked hip flask, future, just future, he, he invented future, future and past binoculars, flying taxi model, umbrella with built-in plant pots, a suitcase with legs, pre-handshake device, army guy shoe cubby, army guy blocks, Nike logo made of army guys, brush hooks, brush hooks are really creative, I like that, tree branch work desk, GPS shoes, luxury skipping stones, teacup with cooling fan, directing jacket, and one foot taller periscope glasses. After perusing the inventions on DominicWilcox.com, there is still his personal blog available on variationsonnormal.com. Here, this archive dates all the way back to 2009, with his very first post being about his greatest moments of his life. Literally a decade of projects are recorded here, mostly only in sketch form, going as recent as 2019, which was about the little inventor's inventions in the space station. His speed creations are also hosted here, which include a doorstop extension, foil bust, thread light, bread hammer, flip wedges, beach ball chair, mirror room, and diary tapes. Between 2015 and 2018 is when he did most of his talks and interviews about his work, which makes sense because in 2015, the short film dropped about him. The short film was titled The Reinvention of Normal. A mini documentary about Dominic making the bird listener in one day. We get to see his process of going to the store to find objects for his invention. Dominic showed off some of his already made inventions from both his book and real life, like his umbrella with plant pots, which we saw earlier. His parents were involved in a portion of the documentary, as well as Liam St. Pierre and Sam White who are credited as the creators of the documentary. It also hosted one of my favorite quotes from Dominic. Quiet, shy children do a lot of work in their heads. Ah, yes, that's me. This quote impacted me and helps us see the true impact of Dominic as an inventor. One way Dominic has made an impact on the world is with his many books he has published about his creativity. Seven, to be exact. Variations on Normal in 2012, his Inventions book, The Little Inventor's Handbook in 2018, an inspirational invention handbook to inspire kids, The Skimming Stone in 2019, which went along with Dominic's Golden Skipping Stone Lore, Little Inventors Go Green in 2020 as part of an event initiative for kids to help the environment, Little Inventors in Space in 2020, an event initiative to help astronauts in space, Little Inventors Mission oceans in 2021 to help clean up our ocean and then out of nowhere i found the weirdest book out of the seven it's on amazon and it translates to cup fan and other absolutely insane world improvements not sure if this is official or not but my guess is no but anyways, several of these books were on Amazon. I bought one of them, but not all of them because I obviously don't have the Patreon budget for them. Well, looks like that's where the Patreon budget went. Wait, what, what happened to my book? Are you kidding? Well, that means at least I now have the Patreon budget back. So do you know what it went to? It went to this coat, but enough about me because I'm not worth the time. Now it's time to figure out what has Dominic been up to lately. Since he's technically been gone for three years regarding his personal projects, in order for us to figure out why this is the case, we'll have to go back to 2018, where the first reveal of the project, Little Inventors, shows us that he has indeed been busy for quite some time. Gosh, that's a callback, isn't it? In a quote from the reveal video, which I just now realized I didn't have to travel back in time to 
see the reveal, I could have just watched the frickin' video. The quote states, He asked 450 children to think up and draw their own invention ideas, then asked local makers to make the best ones into real things. Out of 600 invention drawings, 23 were made into objects by skilled makers and manufacturers. The project, commissioned by the Cultural Spring, achieved worldwide publicly and over a thousand people visited the exhibition over two weeks. This is how the company started. Dominic is the chief inventor at this company, where children can submit their own ideas to the company's website, littleinventors.org, or watch tons of educational content on the YouTube channel, which is definitely more recent uploading-wise and project-wise than Dominic's own channel, and started in 2016. No, I'm not going to time travel to 2016, because that's pointless. The channel is also dedicated to the kids' inventions in the form of series, such as Ideas Made Real, where winners of the event get the help of the necessary developers to create the invention, announcement videos for upcoming events and books, the events themselves, where there's always some sort of theme, and Little Inventors Out and About, or if you're Canadian, Oot in a Boot, where some of the inventor kids even made it on the radio and TV. Some other series on the channel include Animations, the Git Making series, a 12-part tip series on how to best create something physical, and Maker Challenges, which were interviews of certain experts in certain fields, usually to give kids advice or to announce the theme slash upcoming event that's happening, especially in 2020. Some of these videos were even in French, which I found interesting. What's really cool about this company is that Little Inventors has connections to so many organizations to even make this thing possible. It's really cool to see a lot of experts sharing their own knowledge on a variety of subjects on the Little Inventors channel. You can just tell that Dominic was the necessary middleman to make all of these inventions come to life. Not just his own inventions, but helping kids realize that they can impact the world with their own inventions. Not only is Dominic inspirational, but even the kids were as well. Whether the invention was a lighthearted, goofy project, or something to solve a real problem in our world, these inventions span so many different industries, so the impact is very wide on society. Dominic realized that these kids are our future, so inspiring them to do great things is very important for our society. In fact, I got so inspired that I made some potato soup, but when I made the potato soup, it exploded everywhere, and that is not good. This is why. This is why. Are you seeing this? This is not a joke. I hate my life. So I called on Dominic Wilcox to help me create an invention to help prevent potato soup from exploding in the microwave. This is why I want to invent something to prevent this from happening. Normally, it doesn't get this bad. This is the first time that it's gotten this bad. Like, oh, 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 come on. I, this is my favorite soup, and my favorite soup is now uh, all over <laughs> my microwave. Weeks later, I was still waiting for a response from Dominic Wilcox. So it's been weeks since this incident happened. I still can't figure out how to make it not explode in the microwave, you know. My only idea is that, you know, how there's these chicken noodle cups, you know. They have the lids, they have the holes, and I'm like, why do they do that? Well, it's so that way the steam doesn't make it explode. So if I had a bigger one of those, then maybe I could, you know, make sure my potato soup does not explode in the microwave. I've had it. I'm done. I've had it. So Dominic Wilcox, I need your help. Please help me. So that way my potato soup does not explode in the microwave. This is for science. And he still hasn't responded yet. So Dominic Wilcox, please leave a comment telling me how I can prevent my potato soup from exploding in the microwave. So, why did I compare Dominic Wilcox to Thomas Edison earlier, you may be asking yourself. Well, it's been recorded that Thomas Edison had 1,084 patented inventions in the US alone. While Dominic by himself hasn't amassed that many inventions in the public eye, he has created many inventions that have been appreciated by thousands of people. And his impact with the Little Inventors Project will surely inspire enough kids to make as much, if not more of a difference than Thomas Edison ever could. There are still many problems today, even with the minds of Thomas Edison or Dominic Wilcox. So hopefully, these kids will rise up and see the problems of today and possibly solve some problems in our future, since the youth 
of today is our future for tomorrow.